Well, what you see on screen there is basically the same bedroom that I used to review. Do you remember when I did the European White Stork Flip Flap Toy View, which was an origami Flapping Birds toy? Well, guess what? Look what's on the floor there. There is something that I've actually found something, or should I say made something, basically something new. It costs about £19. It's the American Western Seagull Squabbling Flock 12-pack. It's another Flapping Birds toy. It says fold for the future there, as you can see there. That's where my, um, my hand's there. It's just pointed towards it. It's a Generation 75.5 toy there, as you can tell by the generation numbers and stuff. Remember, Flip Flap started in 2010 with its first generation and stuff. And there you go. There's the Ash Ketchum style logo right on the, the top of the packaging there. Just right on the bottom of Open Me Please, and it says for ages, throwing up on the clouds there. I'm not sure if you can hear on the iPad there. I do apologise once again. But once again, you can start to see there's basically, well, let's just say there's more than five seagulls in this packaging artwork here. So it's actually very, very nice. And um, this is what it looks like at the, the front of the packaging there. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's some very sort of nice artwork of the seagull there. There's one here. That one there, actually that one there, which is a little bit more fainter than the other seagulls that you can see there with their eyes being nicely pinned up. I don't know what I'm saying there, but here's the back of the packaging there. And there's the instructions, which is basically the anatomy on how to um, flap the birds there. So yes, you've got the neck, you've got the beak, you've got the feet, you've got the tail and the wings there, and also the head. And um, obviously, you know, I'm... Obviously thinking these are basically, I'm not going to probably point them all, but I'm obviously saying them just to tell you what it says there on the packaging. And now I can see in the, on the back of the packaging there is I can obviously see, let me count the seagulls, there are basically around seven seagulls on the back of the packaging. And look who's creeping inside. There's a little window there on the, on basically on the back of the packaging there. And yes, the seagulls, I mean look at the eyes there, it doesn't look creepy there. Hang on a minute. Oh, yes, there they are. There's the, the model of the seagulls there. Right, time to unpack and come and do the unpacking there with their crummy looking unpacking sessions I'm going to be doing. And yes, like that European White Stork product, this packaging, once again, give me a break. It's just trash. But let's just take a look at what we have. Oh, yes, there's some very beautiful seagulls there. I'm not sure if I could handle them on camera. Looks like it's sort of very nice. It's a very typical looking uh, seagull uh, that you'd find in America or possibly the UK or maybe Europe. I show at the other side there. The beak is yellow, as you can tell. What is that? It looks like this thing looks like it's been oil spilled or something by the looks of it. Uh, sorry for the way I'm handling there, but once again, that's okay, I suppose. There's, there's 12 of these there, which is basically 9 more compared to that European White Stork Flappy Bird product. And if I flap the wings there, it's a, uh, you know, it's a very nice sort of feel again. And uh, it's got what it looks like to have slight grey back on the wings there with black wing tips there. Yep, there's the wing tips are black and triangle shaped as well. And they they've got great big eyes, but they're not googly. Okay, let's take a look at the other one here. In fact, all of them are the same. So um, I'm obviously trying to sort of, you know, you know, I'm obviously trying to think of what I'm basically trying to say. I try not to make the iPad well basically fall down, but um, this is actually quite a very nice sort of set, and. Um, they do look nice. I'm not going to flap them all because I don't want to make the iPad fall. But you know what? This is actually quite a fantastic toy. In fact, there's so many different variations there. Well, the only disappointment is, and if I take a look at the back of the packaging there, let me take a look at a bit of a reading there. It says, 12 flapping birds based on the American Western Girl. Let me, let me try and say it again for a while. 12 flapping birds based on the American Western girl but the models as I can say there but the models aren't named so let me have a look what's underneath those those seagulls there and let me take a look what's underneath there by the booty 
And um, they all look very, very nice. It's sort of a very nice looking model, but the name, but their booties aren't named. I don't know if I could literally get demonetized if I could say the word booty. <laughs> but anyways, those cigars actually look. Uh, they look nice. They make those clicking sounds when you just pull the tails and stuff. And you know what? This is actually a very nice looking product. I could, I can guarantee to you. Okay. So um, yeah. There's basically. Oh, you can see them now. Uh, they actually look all the same. And um, yeah, it's a, it's just very, very nice, isn't it? And I'll pack all of these cigars away because I, I think I've seen enough. And one thing I would say about these cigars is that there's. It's basically different variations in the eyes there, but I don't think it's that. It's not as complex compared to those play sets there. Let me just put them back onto their trusty packaging there. I'm very sorry about the um, the sleeves there. Let me just roll them up because they're trying to take over this whole video and stuff. Oh my god, it's just so uncomfortable when I'm just sitting there with the piece of cardboard which is just used as a tripod. I don't know what I'm going to use for that great big piece of cardboard box which I've just, you know, I've chopped almost a half of it. And let me show you what that tripod looks like. It looks like this. Um, that would actually be turned into something else in the future, I hope. I might probably reveal to you after it's been modelled for a long time. I try not to make sure that the iPad hasn't fallen off. But there you go. That's basically about it. Yeah, there you go. So what do I think? The American Western Seagull Scorpion Flock 12 pack. Well, apart from the fact that this product says, you know, that there's 12 flapping birds based on the American Western Gull, but the models aren't named. Basically, it's their, it's their, their bottoms or their booties, which aren't actually named, of course. There's no names on these birds. But they are based on the Western Girls, although do bear in mind that they look like another product. If I go ahead and find another one here, try my, you know, I'm making sure that the iPad is secure and stuff. Remember, I'm not sure if I've done that, but there's another product here which I've also done. It's the Japanese or Asian Slaty Back to Girl Squabbling Flock Six Pack. They look pretty angry, don't they? But I don't think I've done a review on this one here. Maybe I have, but nevertheless, it's a much cheaper product, £18.98 or £19, which is basically like 2p away, but these are just handmade products I've actually just made. And yes, what's very different to that of, well, basically an ordinary item that you just buy in the shops and supermarkets and stuff, where's the barcode? There's none. But if I take a look at the back here as well, of this Western Girl product, and yes, the slutty back girl is basically like the Asian version of the... Uh, Western girl. Look at that! There's no barcode to be seen! But anyways, that's probably about it in this video. So for... Oh, sorry about that, but... So, what do you think about these two products? Do you prefer the Western girl or the Slacy Bat girl? Which species do you prefer? But anyways, hopefully this will give you a great big, you know, thumbs up if you like this video. And come and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me make more videos about, well, basically me reviewing flip up toys, you know, especially the origami ones. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, this is basically the second video I've uploaded for my second flip up channel. Maybe it isn't, but who knows? Anyways, hope I'm doing this now. As always, you're not going to send us, don't you? Thanks for watching and bye for now.